trade is really important because it empowers workers to have a voice, uh, whether it's on the fields or whether it's on the factory where, the, where our soccer balls are made, and also have an opportunity to improve their lives. I spent a lot of time thinking about fair trade back in college and how we could build better and more sustainable relationship with the producers of, of the products that, that we consume, how a soccer ball is made, the working conditions, where they're made, and that's how I find out about um, a lot of the suppliers that have gone through fair certification in, in Pakistan, uh, and I was able to, to build a relationship with factories that believed in, in Senda's uh, vision and, and mission to build um, very high quality soccer balls and futsal balls and street balls and beach soccer balls while also making it in a sustainable way and, and fair trade. Fair trade is an alternative trading model by which you don't work with the suppliers purely on a commercial relationship, but you work with them to build a long-term relationship that allows workers and producers to thrive. What fair trade does is enables three things. One, it ensures proper working conditions at the factory. Two, it ensures that there's no child labor. And three, it provides an extra sum of money that goes to a community fund that the workers themselves decide how to use. For example, they provide uh, transportation to workers and they also provide school supplies of their children. And also they have a fair trade shop where workers can buy their groceries at a better price. I believe happier workers make better products, and by doing that we can create fair and happier life for everyone, from workers and our customers. One of the factories that we work with has a water purification project. The second trip that I did there was the first time that I saw it, and that was great to see. It was people from all over coming to get clean water at the factory. And what I love about this project specifically was that it was not only focused on the workers that make soccer balls, but it was for the entire community to be able to get clean water. I think we're in a pivotal time in society and in humanity as a whole where for years now, we've really had the resources to provide enough for everyone in this planet to, to live well and to have a good working condition, to make a good living, to provide for their families. We have the resources and the technology to enable everybody to make a good living. And fair trade is, is one more resource and one more tool to bring this vision to reality. It empowers workers and it also empowers consumer to make a decision that makes an impact. Every time that people go and make a purchase, they're voting with their dollars. And that decision that they make about what product to buy can make an impact thousands of kilometers or thousands of miles away from where they live. And we think that fair trade is, is one more step towards building a more sustainable and equitable community uh, around the world.